Welcome to the Ask Leo Video Show. I'm your co-host, and this is my co-host, Leo. Hi. Today, we're going to talk about the spring season Blu-ray releases. Yes, we're going to talk about four of them. And now you may be asking, hey, you and Leo, well, why you haven't made an episode in January? Well, the thing is, we did plan an episode for January, but due to scheduling conflicts and also, oh, A, Leo not being that much around, um, he was taking a vacation, of course. So we decided just to have like a one month break from it. But now we're going to go back on track to monthly uh, episodes soon. Now we're going to talk about the spring season Blu-ray releases. Now, Leo already, already told Leo what we're going to talk about here. here so it's going to be a surprise to him, but part of when I start giving the details, it might is. In any case, so, Leo, are you excited? Yes. Okay, so the first one here is Red. On Red is coming out on Steelbook. Now, have you ever heard of the movie Red? Um, no. Okay, so basically, the, I forgot what's I forgot what year, but it's a 1980s BMX biker movie where basically these kids ride bikes and try to win money in this contest of a bike contest and all that. Mm -hmm. It was only released, I think it was released theatrically because, of course, they're mastering this from 35mm. But I'm not sure about that, I haven't like a bit of research and all. But uh, it was pretty famous on like in v around VHS and laser disc collectors and all that. Uh, and to the point that basically the laser, the people who own the laser discs, like specifically bootleggers who own the rad on laser discs, they will grab the 485 footage, upscale it to 20, 720p, then put it on the bootleg DVD for you to buy for 10 bucks at your local DVD flea market or DVD <laughs> is the local the, blockbuster. Even no, it's canceled. No, not blockbuster. Blockbuster won't accept uh, bootlegs. No, like in your www DVD insert name.com in case I'm not going to mention any website he says sells bootlegs don't support bootlegs kids it's by the VHS tapes in case it's but one thing to know is that Red was already released in Blu-ray and 4k UHD by Vic by Vinegar Syndrome in May of 2020 but this were but the release is out of print currently he, he, so basically last year had it's like official release like since VHS and Laserdisc and all that. Uh, but this release will be using the recent 4K restoration which I'm presuming it, will be, it was the one used for the Vinegar Syndrome release. No, it's only on Blu-ray. No, you can't get the UHD but it's from the 4K master of it but just downscale to 1080p. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Okay, one of these is the you get a one of the feature you get a rad Q&A section featuring cast members Bill Allen. Tally Shearer, Bart Karner, screenwriter Sam Bernard, and hosted by Jorma Takun. Takun. <laughs> Jorma Ta Tak Takon. 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 My my, what kind of person <laughs> this person has? What kind of name is that? Archival interviews feature with cast and crew. Original behind the scenes feature it. A feature and breaking the ice music video. The special edition Blu-ray a serve as the 46 Mondo X Steelbook collaboration. And of course, we already showed one. Well, I at least showed one of these steelbooks in our. I think it was the fall season Blu-ray releases where I showed where we were talking about the Ghost in the Shell 4K UHD release for the United States, and I showed everybody my 4K like. No, no, not my 4K, my steelbook of, basically my Mondo steelbook of Ghost in the Shell. Remember oh, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. it's pretty cool and all that. I haven't replaced it. I did buy the 4K UHD release, but I haven't replaced the steelbook because it's a pretty cool design, you know? <laughs> so, it will be include a Blu-ray disc and a digital copy, and it will be released by Mill Creek Entertainment on March 16, 2021. So, Leo, are you excited? Mm, sure. Yeah, it's about bikes, you know. <laughs> you got skateboards, you got motorcycles, now you got bikes. Y you even got cars, man. In any case, next release is a bit more obscure one, but I would like to mention it and all that. I like to bring awareness of it, but then again, it might be harmful to me to bring awareness to it. In any case, it is the first official release of War of the God Monster, also known as the Flying Monster. Or now on Blu-ray. Hey, so basically, Leo, have you ever heard of this movie? No. Okay. Sounds so, like a knockoff. It's not a knockoff, but I would somewhat explain it. Okay. So basically, for nobody knows this, 
is uh, basically the flying monster is a South Korean kaiju film from 1984 and yeah 1984 somewhere around that year and all that or 1983 I forgot in case but basically the film was the sense then the film was never shown only like a few clips and VHS footage was available online and all that mm -hmm. now you act we're actually going to get an official blu-ray release of it and many people consider it as a lost film and all that because well, nobody couldn't see it publicly and all that. I think it's, but it's not the first South Korean film. There's Bogusari from 1962, Wing Mongui from sim, from 67, and Young Air from the same year. There's also the movie Ape, which is a King Kong rip of it, and it's so hilarious that the ape actually gives the finger. <laughs> he flips the bird! <laughs> In case, the, so the film has never been released in, in the U.S. before this release, of course. Or it will be a limited edition and only 1,000 press discs will be sold. Damn. Yeah. Well, it will be all, it will also include a free mini e poster as supplies last, which are free as a, be a bonus when you buy the Blu-ray. So when you, or you can buy the uh, poster separately. It will include the virtual trailer. It will also have other, or trailer, other kaiju trailers. It will also have other trailers to other releases by SRS Cinemas, which is, which the people are going to do this is SRS Cinema and Reversible Art. It will be released by SRS Cinema by the end of March of 2021. So, Leo, are you excited? Yes. Well, okay, I'm mean, presuming that's for <laughs> patronizing me. Hey, to be honest, I, in other words, if you want to pre-order it now and not pay 50 or 100 dollars on eBay within the summertime, uh, yeah, pre-order it now. I'll leave the link in the description and all that. To also do the other Blu-ray releases, I haven't pre-ordered it yet. And thanks to me bringing awareness to this, most likely, yeah, it's not going to be that beneficial, and everything is going to be sold out by the time I got by the wits, so, you know. <laughs> you know, I gotta save money. You know, I can't just stop stop spending all this money. So let's move on. On. So the next release is Werewolves on Wheels from 1971. Have you ever heard of this awesome movie? No, but sounds interesting. Werewolves on Wheels. Okay, so here's the basic plot of the film. Uh, last time I remember watching a review over a year ago. So there's the there's this biker gang and all that. They upset over some priest or some pastor at a church. That guy in the church curses them into becoming werewolves, and you don't see the werewolves into like the last. 30 minutes or the <laughs> last moments of the film and all that. So basically, and church... No, it's not really, you basically... You do see the werewolves on wheels, like you do see the guys turning into werewolves and they're on motorcycles. That's like the near end of the film from last time I heard. Probably completely wrong with this. It really sounds bad. And, uh, yeah, but it was worthy enough to get a new HD transfer and it will be the first time on Blu-ray. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Before we had like DVD, VHS releases. Now we're gonna get it on Blu-ray. Gosh darn it! It also include a theatrical trailer, and it will be released by Kino Lorber on April tw twenty-seven, two thousand twenty-one. And that's all the information I got from them. They didn't put that much bonus features into it. <laughs> but at least they're getting an HD transfer. <laughs> so Leo, are you excited for this B movie coming out on Blu-ray? Mm, maybe. Yes, I'm excited for Wolves on Wheels to see for like 30 minutes of uh, <laughs> Wolves on Wheels. We should just like buy the Blu-ray, then we'll get some Mountain Dew, get some Doritos, <laughs> sit on the couch and watch this movie and realize, oh, uh, we made a terrible mistake. <laughs> we made a terrible mistake. <laughs> I should do that to somebody. I should like gather them and not tell them what's the movie and play Man of the Hands of Fate. <laughs> In any case, and now we're going to get reach to our final Blu-ray release. And this is a one that I was expecting, but I never knew it would actually come very soon. It's expected, but unexpected. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, it's the, the good, the bad, and the ugly 4K UHD release. Is now you can actually buy on 4K UHD, play in your 4K players. The classic 1966 Sergio Leone. Starring Clint e Eastwood, with Eli Wash, and Lee Van Cleef. Have you ever seen this movie? No. It's a great movie. When this is going to come out, I'm going to force you to watch it. It's a great <laughs> western. Me and my dad both love this movie. He actually saw this as a kid. He told me he actually saw it on television. And wow. 
and like basically probably spaghetti westerns are popular in Mexico and all yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, you know, you got Clint East Eastwood over there and Eli Wallace. In case, the, this release will be using a 4K master that was already released by Kino Lorber in a previous Blu-ray release of the film. It will feature two cuts of the film um, because it actually has like a bit of history when it comes to the like the how long the film is supposed to be like for example they uh, uh, for example the for the I think the blu-ray release or the DVD release is when they remastered the film they went to the original negatives and all of them and try actually compiled the most long the longest version of the film um basically piling up to two hours or 48 minutes or two hours and 50 minutes yeah, it's but uh, for America they're like uh, we gotta cut everything down uh, we gotta take that out scene, take this scene out, take every single scene out that is not necessary. We gotta keep everything slow and running. And they actually did something interesting is that in the early 2000s when they did this, is remaster and all that, where they colored in most of these scenes, most of it, they couldn't find a few or the prints were somewhat damaged. It's most of those scenes. They actually brought Eli Wallace and Clint Eastwood, which I'm I'm not sure how old they were, or but they basically brought them back in order to actually dub their own um their own characters again because the only available audio for those scenes were in Italian. <laughs> and so basically, you got your old Clint Eastwood and you got your old Eli Wallace, all wearing gray hair. They stopped having brown hair. The voices back their original characters they had in the sixties. <laughs> hey, case back to the topic. Audio commentary by film historian Tim Lucas. It will feature a Leon's West making of the a mask of the teacher Ian Marcos and GBU featurettes part one and two. Leone's West on Ser a feature on Le on Sergio Leone, the man who lost the Civil War, a Civil War documentary. A reconstruction of the GBU or the latest scenes. Scenes which include an extended Tuchel torture scene, a reconstruction of a Socorro sequence, skeletons in the desert, and an extended torture scene. Now this is interesting. <sighs> and you got extended, you got deleted scenes, extended and all that. Four vignettes featuring Eli Wallach and Clint Eastwood, an alternate scene, the optical flip, trailers from hell with Ernest Dick Dickerson, and image Image galleries, original U.S., German, and French theatrical trailers, English CCS HD, a master 5.1 and surround and restored surround sound and restored 2.1 mono audio with optical English subtitles. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah. Well, not that much if you compare it to other things, but that's a lot of stuff, you know. Yeah. It will be released on a Blu-ray disc and a 4K UHD release, released by Kino Lorber on April 27, 2021. So what, Leo? What do you think of this? I feel like this one's. I feel like this one's more interesting. I like this one. I like the sound of this movie. <laughs> How you described it? Yeah. You, you, what? You never heard of the plot of the movie? No. All right. Let me tell you a story. <laughs> okay. Don't explain the whole movie. Just give me a plot. Oh, it's all three of these guys are trying to find a cash box. Okay. Perfect. Three hundred thousand dollars in a cemetery. And they're going to kill each other for it. But I think we went out. No, we didn't go on topic. We kind of went on a tangent. Yeah. In any case, I think I just described Act One and Act Two of the movie. All right, I think that's it, no? Or do we? Oh uh, yeah, that's else? literally all of the Blu-ray releases. Well, it's not short. There's a few mentions I would like to bring up. Like for example, King Kong from 1976, the 76 remake of the 1933 classic. It's finally coming out on Blu-ray in the United States and all that, and the first time because before it was like the UK, France, or Japan and all that have Blu-ray releases. And it's finally coming out in the US? Yeah, it's finally coming out. I have a region... Actually, let me just... Uh, get Here it is. This is my personal copy of King Kong from 1976. It actually supports Region A and Region B Blu-ray releases. It's which I was pretty surprised of. Oh, but see, here's the disc and all that. Uh, and it's released by Studio Canal. Do you like to look at it, Leo? Yes. And Shout Factory is actually going to release it. The reason I'm not officially like just giving it as a mention, not really talking about it, is because it doesn't mention downloads bonus features. The one notable thing is that it's featuring new artwork, and you can buy a poster of it, and also you can, 
And also, you can actually have see three-hour TV cut in its original cut. Yeah. So yeah, that's one thing to mention. They also they're also going to release the movie Grizzly. You remember last time we talked about Grizzly oh, yeah, too? Yeah, yeah, the, um, yeah. Chris, uh, actually, yeah, you saw. Where, um, huh? You were about to say where the grizzly was just attacking people. Yeah, and going a concert. On a rampage. Yeah. Actually, I saw the a double toasted like a double toasted pot clip of basically them watching Grizzly Two and all that, <laughs> and then the way they did it was so terrible. Oh, well, basically the stock footage they got is like new modern stock footage, and then got like thirty five millimeter or sixteen millimeter quality, or just downgraded quality to thirty five millimeter at least. He's and basically when you're watching, and you're like, oh no, oh oh. <laughs> Like for example, there's this one scene, they kill Grizzly Cub, then then in the next scene you see the same footage of the Grizzly Cub getting down the tree and walking away, but a few scenes before you saw it go up the tree and get killed. Basically it's kind of like that, and also they... How did we go from King Kong to Grizzly Bear? They're very large animals. <laughs> In any case, but Grizzly, the original for the first for the first film and all that, is actually getting a Blu-ray release. And one of the funniest things is it was released by several films. And if you get the, uh, I I think it's called the deluxe edition, but if you get the deluxe version, you get a little basket, a Grizzly basket of it, <laughs> and like has the movie logo on this, like you know your traditional picnic baskets. Uh -huh. You get the movie in it, and, <laughs> and you also get three other, two other movies, and it's like a triple feature and all that. That's cool. Imagine if you go to a picnic, picnic like with somebody, and they, instead of bringing food, you bring some Grizzly. <laughs> <laughs> We're just on Blu-ray. We don't even have a Blu-ray TV player over TV. <laughs> In any case, so yeah, that is everything we have for the Blu-ray releases and all that. It links to where you can actually purchase or pre-order these. It will be in the description and all that. So, Lee, are you pretty excited for these releases? Yes. Are you especially the last one. Yeah, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna watch that one. That yeah, really I'll make sure for. to get it and all that. But it's like forty dollars on Amazon and all that. So part of my getting on release, but uh, partly I will try to <laughs> find it. I have like two months to spare, you know. Oh, in case. Yeah, I'm also excited. I'm excited for all these to come out personally, hey, like equally. Like for example, Werewolves on Wheels is coming on Blu-ray and all that. That makes me very. Exciting. Werewolf on Wheels, but you only see the werewolves thirty minutes of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, the like like the last moments of the movie and all that. In case, so yeah, so see you guys in the next episode where we try to come up something else and all that. <laughs> uh, well, I already have a plan, but I'm not sure if Leo's gonna cooperate with that plan. In any case, so that's all the episode. Have a nice day and later on, come back to our video store.